This is a lecture from Open Tuition. To benefit from the lecture, you should download the free lecture notes from OpenTuition.com. Hello again. So within this chapter, we're going to go through and look at leases. So although leases as an accounting standard has been in existence for a long time, the leases standard itself has relatively recently been updated from the old IS-17 to the newer IFRS-16. So it's important that before we go through and look at all of the technical aspects to do with leases, that we understand specifically what a lease is and from whose perspective we are looking at the lease accounting. So what have we got? Let's go through and have a look at what leases are. So when we're looking at leases, you probably all leased something within your lifetime. Uh, if you don't own your own house, your own flat, then you will rent it off your landlord. So what you have there is that your landlord is effectively the lessor. That landlord legally owns the house or the flat that you are renting from them. Again, once you are paying the rentals, you are then the lessee. So you there use the asset. So you've got the lessee being you as the person using the house or flat and the lessor is the landlord who legally owns the assets. Again, uh, uh, if you're looking at it from a business perspective, that could be some form of property, plant and equipment. So somebody owns that property, plant and equipment. It could be a warehouse. It could be the head office and the company leases the asset from whoever owns the head office or the warehouse. It could be a piece of equipment. It could even be a car. So it could be there that the, the company that uses the car, so all the salespeople from the car have all nice new cars on a regular basis. They lease the asset from the lessor, the, the, the people who legally own that asset. And the way in which it works under a rental agreement for a lease is that the lessee makes regular rental payments to the lessor. Now, the vast majority of times within our exam, they are going to be annual payments. In the real world, that might be ever so slightly different. You could have payments that are made weekly, fortnightly, monthly or quarterly. For the purpose of our exam, the likelihood is, is that you will see those payments annually but the key thing to spot within any question is when those payments are made on that annual basis so if you have those payments at the very start of the lease period they are payments in advance whereby if you have the payments at the end of the lease period they will be payments in arrears and that's going to be really important in terms of looking at how much of our lease liability is paid off and at what part in time it's paid off so we can get the amount of interest on that lease liability calculated correctly. So you will find as we go through questions that it's important to note when those rental payments are made. Are they made at the start of the lease period in advance or are they made at the end of the lease period in arrears? So that's effectively the, the overall synopsis of how leases work. I think the key thing to identify, however, is that within this paper, SEMA F1, we're looking at things from the lessee's perspective. So the person who uses the assets, because it's going to be interesting to see how we treat that lease, because although we don't own the asset, maybe we're actually going to go through there and recognise the asset within our statement of financial position and show a corresponding liability, because even though legally we don't own it in substance we might get all of the benefits from using it so therefore show it with on or within our statement of financial position and if we have an asset on the sfp maybe we should depreciate it if we have a liability on the statement of financial position as well then maybe that's like the equivalent of some form of, of loan so maybe we should charge interest so as well as maybe having an asset and a liability on the sfp we could have depreciation and interest on the statement of profit or loss okay but that's just a very very brief overview okay happy uh, so if you're happy with the, the concept of leases and what we're focusing on great if not 
just go back, maybe read through uh, your study text if you bought one. Uh, do a bit of research on the internet. Watch the video again, sometimes second time through. It makes it easier to comprehend. Other than that, I'll see you shortly when we begin to look at the chapter in a little bit more detail.